What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Kyle for a while video or fishing the Florida Gulf Coast. You guys already know it. In this video, we're gonna be using some live little bite-sized pinfish to try to catch some mangrove snappers on the jetties here in Pensacola, Florida. Turned out phenomenal. Great day on the water with me and my buddy Ryan. Um, towards the end of the day, we ended up moving spots, headed more up towards the bay, and the redfish, spoiler alert, the redfish at the end of the video was caught on a bull minnow, but I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe up. I post fishing videos here in Pensacola, Florida, whether it be surf fishing, beach fishing, kayak fishing, or boat fishing, pier fishing, any type of fishing here on the Florida Gulf Coast, you can expect from my channel, so make sure to subscribe. And also, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it. It helps the video spread to more people and it helps the channel grow out a lot. So if you guys enjoy it, drop a like. Let's go ahead and get into some fishing action here on the Florida Gulf Coast. Good morning. Another beautiful day out here in Pensacola, Florida. Um, we got a good, good video coming up, guys. Right now, what, I, what I'm doing is uh, me and my buddy, my buddy, we actually laid a pinfish trap over here at Shoreline Park in Pensacola, Florida. Oh, my lens is a little foggy. Sorry about that. So I laid a little pinfish trap, or my buddy did. He laid a little pinfish trap here in Pensacola, Florida. And we're fixing to go check it. This is Ryan. He's from my, my last video, if you guys saw it. But we're going to go check this pinfish trap. Well, guys, of course. It happens. Our pinfish trap is stolen. You know, it's such a shame because I've got a lot of buddies and you know we've put out crab traps before and it seems like every single time we put out a piece of equipment that you know requires you to leave it out overnight somebody some knucklehead just comes over and just steals it it's just absolutely ridiculous but That's why we carry cast nets guys yep so we're gonna have to resort to plan b and try to go catch some bait at, on the actual shore Check out that beautiful sunrise. Oh my goodness. Looks like cotton candy in the, in the sky. <laughs> I don't know how good of an analogy that was, but beautiful, absolutely beautiful. That's the power of editing. If you get a if you get a bad throw, I can just edit it out. <laughs> I've had that happen to me plenty of times. There we go. Ain't a bad one. Oh yeah, we got a couple of them. I don't know if it's pinfish, but it looks kind of small and long. Could be a little whiting maybe. I think it is a little whiting. Now if you look, this is actually a northern kingfish. You can tell by that big old long dorsal fin, but we'll, we'll keep them for bait. We'll keep them. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, well we'll get back to you guys whenever we catch some bait, but until then we're going to... We're gonna grind it out and try to get some more. Alrighty guys. We've got some good baits. Ah, if I can catch a couple of them. They're really hard to catch sometimes. We're trying to get a small little pinfish in here. Oh yeah. Look at that guys. That is mangrove candy. We're fixing to go put him right beside these jetties right here. And we are going to attempt to get a good old black snapper. Now I'm using 15 pound blue label Seaguar fluorocarbon with a size 4 J hook. Uh, I forget what brand this is, but a size 4 J hook. Um, I like to hook them through the tail like that. And then I also like to hook them through the head, like right there behind the uh, kind of above the eyes. And we're gonna go sink this bad boy. Oh yeah, you got a couple uh, minnows. I don't know they're pinfish. Oh yeah. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna toss this bait right here on this drop off, and we're gonna see if something is hungry down there. Now this pole is extremely light. So if I get a bite on this pole, I'm gonna have to like, if I get a fish on, I'm literally gonna have to pull them out of the wreck because there's a bunch of rocks right here. And if you're not fast on these guys, they will, they will get you in the wreck pretty quick. My pinfish just got annihilated. So what I'm gonna do is throw it back in that same general area. And hopefully they're there still. Oh. And wait 
There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh yeah, that's a freaking good fish, dude. He just annihilated that pinfish. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, nice manga. Oh yeah. That's a, not a bad one. There you go. Woo, come on buddy, come to shore. Goodness gracious, guys. <laughs> he freaking annihilated that pinfish. You cannot get, you cannot find a better, you know, a funner fishery to do, I'm telling you. This guy didn't even warn me. He just straight up didn't even bite, almost like a grouper bite. Just one big gulp all the way down to the bottom. Beautiful fish right there, my goodness. You know what? I wasn't gonna keep fish today, but uh, I wasn't gonna keep any fish, but I think I'm gonna keep some fish because my girlfriend loves some fried fish. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fry, I'm gonna fry some of these guys. Oh, oh yeah, guys, look at that. Beautiful mangrove snapper. We'll go ahead and get a little measurement on them. Now these gotta be 10 in Florida. And he's about, he's about 12 inches. He's about 12, a little bit, little bit bigger than 12. Beautiful fish, guys. Absolutely beautiful fish. I think Ryan's mallet broke. <laughs> Gotta kinda use this as like a bludge tool now. But yeah, beautiful fish. Let's go get another one. I'm telling you, those, those mangrove snapper, they love little bite-sized fish. Little bite-sized fish, they absolutely love. Yep, it's all about patience. This guy, this guy just got another nice little snapper, guys. Nice little mangy. I'm right in the honey hole right there. Are you? Yeah. Uh-oh. There he is. There he is. There he is. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, yeah. Pull him out of that wreck. Oh, yeah. Nice little snapper, guys. Beautiful little mangrove. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, stay out of those rocks, buddy. There we go. Woo, Ryan. I got the I got the culprit, man. I got the culprit. This is the one that got Ryan in the rocks. I'm just kidding. I don't know if that's the one. He's he's barely hooked. too. I gotta get him on the beach. Oh yeah, that's a good that's a good little taco. Yeah, pretty colors. He's a little smaller than the other one, but he's still a legal fish, but gorgeous fish. Sorry, guy. He's got sand all over him. We'll go ahead and measure him real quick. Oh yeah, he's like, if I pinch the tail, he's, he's 11. But, oh yeah. Definitely 10 inches. Shoot, yeah. Beautiful little snapper, boys. That's number two. I may do a little catching cook too at the very end of a uh, very end of this video and let me go ahead and show you guys how I'm hooking these like I said that's that number four hook number four hook I like to hook them right through the back not on the tail but just right there in the back as you are gonna be some big waves honestly probably be better off sitting right here where they don't break Ooh. Holy cow. Those will wake you up. Well, I'm going to get out there now. Look at that little bite-sized pinfish I got. That's perfect, man. That's all they need, really. That, that right there they love those small ones. is perfect size, man. Oh, yeah, son. She whacked it. Did you just put this one in? You don't? No, but. I hope it's a redfish, man. Could be a speck, could be a ladyfish, too. You never know. What you got there? A speck? I think that's a, is that a redfish or a speck? That's a redfish. Yeah, a little red. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. He's gonna be close. I think he is sawed, though, dude. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. I knew they were here, man. So yeah, guys, we ended up moving spots. Um, you know, we were, me and Ryan were fishing at the jetties this morning and we decided to uh, pick it up and just kind of head somewhere else, try to get on some 
some new action. So we came over here to the bay on that little spot that I had and uh, hadn't been here, what, 15 minutes? About 15 minutes, if that, came out here. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna make it. Well, that's good. What do you think? Here he goes, guys. He ended up measuring 16 inches. You know, we were kind of worried about him because he was gut hooked, but he swam off pretty good, didn't he? So what I'm gonna do is, oh, hey, 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 fish, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one, Ryan. Get it. Get it. Oh yeah. That's Look, a fish right there. That's a good one. That's a slaughter. That's a slaughter. I told you, man, the spot, dude. You want to fill the rod? Sure, I'll fill it like a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a serious fish, dude. <laughs> oh, come over here. Come over here. Roll this sucker in. I got All some right. good footage. Oh, that's a. Dude, that's a good one, brother. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, man. Look at Ryan's rod. Listen to that, listen to that spool, guys. Listen to that drag. He's gonna run again once he sees the land. Yep, he's running. Go ahead and walk this way. I'll try to land him for you. Beautiful fish, beautiful red. He's a slot. All right, I'm gonna try to step in there. All right, I'll land him for you. I'll go ahead and land him. Beautiful, Beautiful slot. Perfect hook on that one. Perfect hook. Right on, dude. dude Beautiful man. fish. I'm going to reel mine in a little bit. Beautiful slot, Red. Woo. No problem. That's a good one, dude. I won't come over here and eat up all your fish, though, Absolutely. Dude. Oh, yeah, 21. Oh, yeah. Pinch that tail. Let's see what it is. Oh, he's... He's like 21 and a half. Yeah, yeah, 21 and a half, almost 22 with that top Beautiful tail. Fish. Beautiful fish. Stand right here, Ryan. I'm just kind of show them all. All right, let me get a spot. Let's be careful. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful fish. He's got nice spots on him, yeah. too, man. Awesome. Throw this button in the cooler. I'm going to get some more bait out, dude. Guys, it is hot right now in Pensacola, Florida. It is probably 100 degrees out. Very light wind. This is probably the hottest day that we've had all summer long, honestly. It's pretty hot. I, I, had a, I had a pinfish on my hook and left him out out of the water for probably about 10 minutes. And he was literally as crispy as a potato chip by the time I tried to throw him back in the water. It's hot out here. So, so, so hot.